Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. The very last moments of me being 28. Yeah, absolutely. So tomorrow or now, I am 29. So I've just seen my new birth year, my 29th year, in with my twin brother. He works very, very late, so I've just said goodbye to him, and he's gone off to see his partner and his little baby girl. And um, me, well, I'm 29. I'm left here with my thoughts. I'm left here with all of those feelings for the future and thinking of the past. And yeah, wow, 29. Absolutely an incredible kind of milestone for me to hit, absolutely. It's been an incredibly difficult last couple of years in terms of health and operations and losing my dear nan, and it's pretty difficult to kind of hit your birthday and think that the things that meant the most to you, some of them aren't no longer there, and it's really, really difficult and it's really, really tough. I'm trying to be positive and I'm trying to be upbeat, because I know my nan would want me to be. But I wish to God she was still here. Oh, goodness, do I ever. I really, really do. But this evening I had a really, really wonderful, lovely, lovely evening because I'm blessed in this family and in this life because it's my brother's and sister-in-law's wedding anniversary tomorrow, so 3rd of July. It's my niece's birthday, the 1st of July. It's my mum and dad's wedding anniversary on the 11th of July. So a very, very busy time. Lots going on, lots to celebrate. And you know what? Just a really nice time to be really thankful, really kind of absorbent of all those wonderful, lovely times and happy memories and happy moments. So this evening with my mum and my sister-in-law and my brother, we went for a really lovely meal and that was very, very nice indeed. I enjoyed that. Lots of laughter, lots of chatting and talking and, and sort of um, remembering of all different wonderful times and great food, great wine and a really, really, really very nice time to really celebrate my birthday and my brother and my sister-in-law's uh, wedding anniversary of 17 years. Absolutely incredible and bless them and many, many congratulations to them. A lovely, lovely pair of people and I'm very, very thankful to have them in my family and certainly in my heart. My twin brother, I'm really, really glad that I got to spend time with him this evening, even though, albeit very, very short because of his job, he's working all over his birthday, unfortunately. But you know what? He is very, very career driven, very, very family focused, but of course, always thinking of the future and thinking of his family and his little girl. But you know what? Really, really great. So believe it or not, what I've done is I put the radio on and on my radio in my room, which is actually just in front of me here, um, and he bought it for me. Plays all my amazing music and amazing music, by the way, but it brings up a clock and I put it on the, on the radio and actually it was like two minutes before. So I stood next to my brother and I, I grabbed hold of my brother's hand and um, I, <laughs> um, I said, stand close. We need to stand still because we came in the world together. We're going to see our 29th birthday in together. And you know, what? it was fun. It was cool. It was really, it was such a laugh. It really, really was. So I'm really, really pleased we'd done that. And um, do you know what? It was really, really great. He's just gone off. I've seen him in the car now going up to his partner. Um, and um, to see his little girl. So yeah, really, really great. So um, it's been amazing this time, you know, having a birthday of a weekend, really, really lovely. And um, yeah, all the extra hours I've worked this week, I finished early today, so I had a really lovely afternoon, had a really, very nice evening, um, a great evening. And um, it's, been, it's been lovely this evening, and of course, seeing my birthday in tomorrow will be really, really great. But of course, you do think, don't you, when you hit a birthday and you think to yourself, hmm, what does this mean for me? So straight away, I always on a birthday evaluate where my life is and where I wanted it to be. So I, I always usually have a couple of down days coming up to my birthday. And I think to myself, oh, usually I'm never where I want my life to be. But you know what? Right now, I'm where I want to be. Because this year, I've really, I've really learned that actually that success isn't just through what you've got on your cv through qualifications it's not through the amount of money you've got in the bank it's actually if you're happy if you're content and if you wake up in the morning and you feel that you can take a deep breath and you can think actually do you know what you're okay you're healthy and you're well because the the things we hear in this life you've only got to turn the tv on to watch the news whether it be local or around the world news and you hear all these dreadful things all these young people even on our youtube community you hear and you see people much younger than myself who have lost their life and they will always forever be that age. So when actually somebody says to me about turning on the next year on or being 29 now, do you know what? 
I actually looking at it now, whereas before I used to think to myself, oh my God, I'm getting older, I'm getting older. Whereas now, 29, do you know what? It's a blessing. And every single day is a blessing. And I always say that nobody is promised a tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, let's grab it with both hands and let's run with it. And that's exactly what I intend to do. My life is exactly what I want it to be. Going forward in the future, I want to have that beautiful wife. I want to have the amazing house. I want to have the many children. I'd love to have five, by the way. I'd love all of that. And you know what? I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make myself get where I want it to be, where I want my life to be. I want to be a chartered accountant. Absolutely. I'm nearly there. And I want to be walking down the street. And I want to have that title above my head with a beautiful family, my parents healthy and well, all of my family, my brothers, my sister-in-law, their partners, my nieces, my nephews, all happy and well. I would have loved to have said to you that I would have loved to have had my nan right beside me. But do you know what? Sadly losing her, I know she's always up above and she's watching over me. And I speak to the Lord all the time and in my prayers and I ask him to watch over my nan. And as difficult as it is without her being here, I know she's always with me. Growing up, she used to say to me, I think the world of you, my love. And although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you. And I'll always be looking down on you. So my 29th birthday, my dear Nan, I hope that you like what I've achieved this year. I really, really do. It's broke my heart that you've not been here. But um, I love you always. And you know that. And I love you so very, very much. God bless you, Nan. And God bless you for watching. Thank you very much for sharing this with me. And now, as I see my last moments of being 28, and I welcome my 29th year, thank you very much to all my subscribers. And there's great stuff to come. There really, really is. Thank you, and God bless. And you know what? I'm going to have a really, really great birthday because I choose to. Yeah, absolutely. All these things can be set to try us. And try us they do, as my nan would say. But you know what? I wish you the very best of luck going forward. And you know what? We make our own luck in this world. So if you want a great, exciting, spontaneous life, go and find it. Go and grab it. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, stay well, stay healthy, stay lucky, and much love and best wishes. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.